Good morning, folks. We'll hit the solar activity of the last day. Peek inside Hurricane Nicole, get a little lightning update, and then a big one on Observer Ranch. But first, we had another M-Class flare and several C-Class events from the northern departing active region. None released any significant CMEs, and the sunspots are now beginning to turn towards the limb. This active region did release one CME from the previous day's events, and the emerald spiral shows it will largely miss Earth. There is a minor chance to give us a glancing blow middle of the week. Otherwise, we are happy to say that eruptive risk is dropping on our star at the moment. Our eyes will go to the incoming southern coronal hole and potential sunspots coming in behind it, as solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth are currently quiet. Let's go to the internal diagnostics of Hurricane Nicole. The penetrating radar allowed for a dissection of the storm and witness of the tremendously complex and widely severe rain system. This 3D view allows us to better understand how the storms work, but also how the dynamics of the worst hit areas unfolded within the storm. One thing we have been talking about is increased lightning and what a storm over the weekend in Australia. We've been seeing more and more of this type of severe outbreak and that is what's expected to continue ahead due to the increased atmospheric electricity and particle bombardment as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken and shift. Folks, it's time for an Observer Ranch update. We are grinding away on the mega project home for the observers. We expect the major meeting place for the community to be done next year, and it's been quite the journey already. It was two years ago that we got the land in Colorado at the edge of the mountains, and we have quietly enjoyed letting our kids play with friends while we have endured delay after delay from the regulators and supply chains. While the children had fun, we had been working hard behind the scenes with our construction, engineering, and planning teams. And finally, about a month ago, we were allowed to break ground in a big way. The enormous infrastructure of the campground and education and event center is being installed, and we're gearing up for a major push the next several months. Observer Ranch is going to have some of the most spacious RV sites in the country, no jamming up against your neighbors, and contain educational classes on everything from the science we cover to survival topics, sustainable practices, and more, including the major events for the observers. Now, while waiting for the permitting process to unfold, we have been developing a fleet of RVs to look like each of the planets. Don't have an RV? No problem. We'll have them there for you to come experience the lifestyle. These have been making appearances at our group events the last several months, and that is going to continue with our events until the ranch fully opens. There's truly nothing like being around other observers in the good company and conversation. The number one unanswered request from observers administratively has been a way to support the community while also getting a tax write-off, and we get it. Sorry it took so long. Catherine took the initiative to create a nonprofit for this exact purpose, to support the educational center and aspects of the ranch and the community, the overall content as a whole. It's called Little Spark, an appropriate name in pretty much all ways. For those who missed out on being a founder in the 2021 push, getting their names on the community founder wall that will display at the ranch, there is one more chance to do so. Click the link at ObserverRanch.com and use the form to memorialize you or your business at the ranch. This will come with the tax write-off for you and for those of you who have expressed that you want your business support known at an even greater level. There are opportunities for naming rights for the event center of the observers and more. We greatly appreciate your support and look forward to growing the community and community knowledge together in the upcoming years as this awareness becomes ever more vital. ObserverRanch.com for more details. Businesses can email us directly at info at ObserverRanch.com, which is also where all naming rights requests should be sent. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.